What's up, Poppy Playtime fans? Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for being here. I know there's other places you go, but I really appreciate you joining me, hanging out, checking out my content. If you enjoy my content, don't forget to subscribe, drop a like, all that cool YouTube stuff. Really appreciate it. Today, we're going to finish up Chapter 3, and we're going to go through the counter's office, do what we need to do, and we're going to check out the ending, which means we're going to check out Cat Nap. So drop a like for Chapter 3. Drop a like for this video if you enjoy my content. And let's go.
following message is for all Playtime Company employees. At 11.01 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, an unknown hostile force was declared present within the Playtime Company facility. Personnel are to begin enacting emergency evacuation protocols immediately. Leave all personal belongings. Do not engage with any hostile individuals. If no exit path is available, seek shelter in a hidden location. Use blankets or pillows to cover your body, and remain silent. Do not look through any windows. Do not open doors for any individuals. Do not make eye contact...
Hartman, come on in. Please have a seat. How was your ride down? It was uh, nothing like we were expecting. Uh, Mr. Ludwig's speech was 
Well, it just confirms for us that you're the orphanage we want to go through. It's a truly magical place. I felt right at home from the second I entered. You open that door the first time and you just know. You're never going to leave. Kind of like finding a home as a child and always thinking of it when you want to feel comforted. <clears throat> I understand you want to give Jeremy that home. Yes, and we would like to adopt. Ah, amazing. You'll be perfect for... Oh. What? Well, it appears there's been some complications. Complications? What kind of complications? I... I don't know. Um, the form says... testing. <laughs> what does that mean? Tell us, what does that mean? Miss Graper, we deserve a better explanation than that. Don't you think? You're in charge of all this! How could you not know? And why are we only finding out about this now? I... I don't. I'm sorry.
Acorn, can you help me with my painting? Pass me the blue, please. Thanks! Now, can you give me some red? More red, please. Out? But we can't be out. You are hiding more red from me. I know you are. Give it here! Oh, now that's oh. much better. Crafty corn.
we have to end this.
shadows. You're probably gonna hallucinate a bit. It'll be hard to tell what's real and what's fake. Try using your flares on Catnip to make sure he's real. He's almost there. There might be a way to kill him if you can hold out. Do you see that computer terminal? Aggressively use the batteries to fill the surrounding slots. Please, don't die.
way. The room you're in used to be a sort of panic room. It's not what it used to be. But it can protect you. Good. Okay. Now, in between the hallways, there's those two side rooms. On both the left and the right. There'll be green power receivers in those little rooms. They can block off the hallways before Katna gets to you. Try to
those two side rooms, on both the left and the right. There'll be green power receivers in those little rooms. You can block off the hallways before Catman gets to you. Try them.
good. You're here. And you've done it again. The impossible. Just like I knew you would. Catnap's gone. The red smoke is diverted. Everything is falling into place thanks to you. If you were to keep going, then and you deserve to have the truth. You came back because of your co workers. You want to know what happened and why. This. This is your answer. We called it the Hour of Joy. was all over. They dragged those corpses down below where they'd never be found. And they ate the bodies to stay alive. The prototype has to die for this. For everything. Soon as we reach the bottom, we'll send the lift back up. Just hold tight, okay? After you! <sighs> Alright. Once we hit the ground, we need to be cautious. There's something... 